Wearing a mask and protective clothing when outdoors is the best defense against the Sahara dust that may pose serious complications to people with asthma, heart disease, as well as the elderly and the children under two years. General Physician Dr. Maria Pereira says, people in these risk groups should stay inside and exercise extreme caution when going outdoors. The danger occurs when a human being inhales these dust particles. And the dust particles are especially damaging to the lungs because it can cause asthma, so the person can start complaining of, of shortness of breath. Dr. Pereira says dust can also cause severe allergic reactions, skin irritations, and even infections of the eye. She says washing your hands and face regularly can help protect you. One of the most important things that we can do is not only to stay indoors, but also be well hydrated. Because when a person is, is dehydrated, the skin becomes dry and it becomes more vulnerable to different types of rashes. Some persons may even need to, to have their inhalers with them. The general physician says the dust is also laden with bacteria and the fungus that when inhaled can cause serious reactions and discomfort. Some persons who are very sensitive, they can get what is called an allergic rhinitis. That's when they inhale the particles and they start coughing and coughing and sneezing and feeling really miserable. For persons who find that they're really struggling, they're really having the chance of better and things are not getting better, I advise them to go directly to the hospital. However, Dr. Pereira says although bad for humans, the dust is rich in nutrients including phosphorus, which has great benefits for plants. It also impedes the development of tropical weather systems. Leonorville reporting, ABS News.